what is good car family happy monday how's everybody doing doing today i hope well um today is the aftermath of the cowboys taking their first loss of the year last night 12 to 10 to the saints um was a tough game i don't know why every time dallas plays the saints it has to turn into this grind out smash mouth type of game but that's what it was um maybe it'll be good to get the get a get a go ahead and get a loss early um, but I look, I break this season up into quarters and if they can go three and one every quarter, I'll be happy with 12 and four. So I got a pretty monster epic mail day today. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into some pickups. Um, first some stuff that I personally picked up recently. Uh, let's start with Dak. So here we go. I got the, uh, 19 Don Russ blue pet press proof and that's is the base card not the variation I got the 19 Don Russ press proof out of 75 29 out of 75 the die cut and as you can see that's the variation pose so I'm gonna chase these I'm not going too hard at them but going after these so I really like Don Russ um, picked up this I'm working on my Will Clark collection I need to get a count for everyone get a document going but there's the 87 Opeachy see the Opeachy right there and then you can look at the back it's a lot cleaner looking than the original 87 tops nice card right there and then this card man as a kid I would have killed to have gotten this card this is the 87 Fleer, but it's the glossy. I don't know if you can tell, but this is indeed the glossy version of the 87 Fleer. So two Will Clark pickups, slowly working on the Clark collection. Thought this was cool. I just saw this card. I really like Amari Cooper. I, it's funny, I used to PC him before he was a cowboy. But as you can see, 2019 Panini Father's Day. And if he's not in a Cowboys uniform, I don't mind him in his Alabama uni. And this is uh, out of 199. They got some different variations of this. But I just thought that was a super cool looking card. I love the pose. I always love it when they catch a player from the side. Um, I think that's a cool looking card. And... Decided to pick this up when Michael Gallup got hurt. Uh, kind of figured this guy was going to have some an impact on the team going forward. Hadn't been that great yet, uh, and he did not have a reception last night. Did draw a pass interference last night. So Devin Smith, uh, for those that don't know, he got injured a couple times, drafted by the Jets, uh, got hurt a couple times, and now he's you know got an opportunity with the Cowboys. Uh, to, to kind of make his mark, but I don't think he's a starter, and right now they're they're kind of trying to play him at number two. Um, I think he's more of a spot guy, come in and hit a big play here and there, but that's his 2015 Immaculate RPA, Immaculate Collegiate, and that is numbered out of 99. Sweet looking card, I thought. Cool addition. All right, let's uh, look at some stuff that I got from Snodzilla. Um, I got in a couple breaks that he did. If you don't know him, check him out. Snodzilla Breaks, sports cards and memorabilia. Here's his inf information back here. Absolutely top notch. One of the best breakers that there is. Trustworthy, good dude. Um, so I got the Cowboys. I think I traded with somebody in the Spectra break, or it might have been a pick your team. Um, Pulled a Michael Gallup, 16 out of 50. You can see a little player-worn material here. But I think this is a gorgeous card, high voltage. Sweet-looking card, right? And I've got really high hopes for Michael Gallup. I definitely think they're missing him right now in the offense. Um, he was actually the most targeted receiver through two weeks. So looking forward to getting Gallup back. Uh, second pull in the Spectra break was absolutely stunning. Had a big week two weeks ago against the Dolphins. 
pulled this radiant Tony Pollard numbered one out of ten and I think this is just a gorgeous gorgeous card look at that got the white ink and that is just beautiful right there we'll Colazo this one this one will definitely be staying in the collection Cool Toad sent me a, a, a Pollard out of auto out of black the other day. I've got this one. Um, Michael sent me one. Um, sent me the what, Prestige Pen Pal. I've got quite the Tony Pollard collection building up. And later, I got in Snod's XR break, and I'm sure somebody traded me to Cowboys that night. And I pulled yet another Tony Pollard RPA again this one is out of uh, XR pretty sweet right a little three piece that's numbered out of 199 kinda starting to think do I want to move one of these cause that's definitely the jewel of my collection I might try and move this one and if I do um, I've got another one so Andy Morris, uh, towards the end of that XR break, just bought another box of XR and uh, for everybody that was in the room. And in that one, I ended up pulling a Tony Pollard Redemption. Rookie Triple Swatch Autographs Red, card number 235. Well, I'll scratch that off and redeem it. But uh, thank you, Andy. Um, formerly of Three River Sports Cards, and I will link his existing channel in the uh, description and I'll link snods as well all right back to some personal pickups a little bit of a throwback card um, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna do Tony Dorsett uh, super collect super collect Tony Dorsett when I get to a thousand Emmets and I'm already kind of working on it and uh, this card brought back a lot of nostalgia for me so this is uh uh, what, the Cowboys Police set. Uh, so the local police hand these out. Kiwanis Club. A lot of teams have them. Uh, but like I say, definitely bring back uh, some great memories for me and some tips on telling you what possession means and then some crime prevention tips. thought they were always cool cards. Um, this is a Tony Door set. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is a super big slab. And that is a PSA 10, 1979 Cowboys Police, Tony Dorsett, PSA 10. So that'll be a sweet addition to the Dorsett collection. I don't know what to do with it, how to bag it, where to put it. Honestly, I didn't know the slab was going to be this big. But nonetheless, this is something I've had my eye on for a while. And uh, something that I really wanted to add to my collection. All right move on to another pickup speaking of Michael Gallup I wanted to get a nicer auto of his out of a little bit of a higher end product so I picked up for a solid price I got this in a bid this is 2018 immaculate signature patches so this is his rookie and she is very nice that is uh, numbered four out of 25 I love the immaculate acetate cards. Um, you just can't do any better than the way they look. And two nice little, of course, player worn patches in there. But um, that'll be probably the nicest Michael Gallup auto that I have. Super cool addition to the collection. Put that there with Tony. So with this card, uh, I noticed the seller had another card and I figured I might as well get it for free shipping. How about a little uh, 2011 uh, Panini, what product is this? Yeah, 2011 certified, a little Emmett Smith action, 30 out of 50. And as you can see, that is game worn material as is most Emmett stuff. Booyah. Immortals, 
little game used piece there the mirror blue I just thought that was very nice put that right there back these up a little bit I don't want any of these to fall once I get done with this video I'll bag them all up I say the mirror blue one other pickup this is something that I was um I was eyeing this card not this exact card but card just like this at national um, this is an auto that I've been wanting to get for a long, long, long time. I finally got my hands on one. I definitely wanted one that was on card, and I wanted a clean auto. And um, this card kind of served all of my desires without getting too, too pricey. So as you can see, it's a 2015 Crown Royale. 15 out of 15. You can't, you can't go wrong on a book. Um, you see there, Roger Stahlback. Um, it is game used material. 15 out of 15, Roger Stahlback. And you flip her around. And there you go. I just thought that was a super clean looking auto. I love the blue ink. Got a little, little jersey pieces back there behind him. Him silhouetted. I've had, you know, some other players in this set. But, uh thought that was a good start for the stall back and like I say I was looking at one of these at national uh, it was a higher print number in it and uh, I didn't pick it up so my first Roger Stallback auto I'm gonna rearrange back here all right I got a couple more cards to show um, my good friend Christian Cortez um, he had a not a fire sale but this guy had an incredible collection of 2016 clear vision and um, man I I think a lot of us felt the same way but hated to see him let this collection go but uh, he was selling uh, a lot of the cards on Facebook um, and he caught me at the right time I had been looking for a particular auto and uh, there was another one that I didn't have so this was a good timing for me. Um, so we'll start with this. Um, as anybody that watches me know, knows, I am a huge Des Bryant fan. Um, one of my favorite players. Um, probably have a super collection of them. I need to count them. But believe it or not, I did not have an auto. So there's my first Des Bryant auto. That's the 2016 Clear Vision See-Through Signatures, number three out of 10. And I think these are pretty neat cards. Um, I was talking to Eloy, the goat, about this. And um, I do consider these on card. They're on like a little clear see-through thing there. So I do consider it on card. And, uh, yeah, that's my first Dez Auto. I've shopped around a little bit lately and have not pulled the trigger. But pretty sweet. And I think just for purposes of having room... I'm going to have to set Dez over here, maybe out of camera. We'll see how it all turns out. All right. He's started off so good this year. Um, I've been wanting to add more autos of him, and I was looking at lower end, uh, but trying to find on card again. And then Christian threw this up. Um, the price was right, so I went ahead and sprung for it. <clears throat> 2016 Clear Vision Dak Prescott. A little RPA action. Nice. This is a, the clear choice signature. So same deal on the clear piece there. Number 74 out of 99. Little jersey piece there. So that's my second DAC auto. Like I say, I do I do consider that one to be on card. Um, I still want to get I think I think my big hunt is I want an immaculate DAC auto. Um, I think that's what I'm gunning for now but they're a little pricey a little more pricey so <laughs> as i was opening this package and the main re I, I didn't want to open this without doing it on video but this was in christian's package and as you can see it says y'all got anything with sugar <laughs> and it's got my name on the back here and quick story at national me and eloy the goat at bronx bombers 
were at a pizza joint and they came to the table. They asked what we wanted to drink. I said, sweet tea. I'm from the South. And they're like, oh, we don't have sweet tea. And that I think that was my response as I said, y'all got anything with sugar? <laughs> so I don't know how uh, Christian knew about that. I'm assuming he's been talking to the goat. So we'll see what's in this package. Um, I didn't purchase anything else from him. I know that much. All right, I'm going to pause while I get the tape open. All right, that thing was definitely taped up super well. Let's see what we got here. Um, I think maybe if I can push it like this. Let's see. So that's the top of the top loader. And it is the back. It's a clear vision. Um, I think I know what this is. And if it is, man, are you serious? Oh, man. Boom. Oh, my God. Mm. Got to open this up. Oh man. Look at that bad boy right there. You know what? I know he's got a penny over it, so. Yep, he does. We'll move that penny sleeve. Oh my goodness. That is a 2016 Clear Vision Tony Dorset. One of one. That is nasty right there. He had this for sale, and I wanted it. I just couldn't afford it. And uh, I told him, I said, "Man, go, you know, go sell it, go move it." And um, I'll be darned, he threw it in, man. That is super cool, Christian, man. I really appreciate that. And you got me wondering, this y'all got anything with sugar? It's got me wondering who was this you or? goat had something to do with this either way man that is very cool dude super appreciate that what a what a epic freaking mail day I'll put this up here with the rest of them man that is awesome dude really don't know what to say I was not expecting that um man nasty so there's the there's the pickups for this video. The Dez, the Gallup, Tony P, the Emmett, Stallback, the DAC, and the 101 Dorset. That is about as epic of a mail day as I have ever had. Man. Very cool, man. Um, I appreciate it, Christian, dude. I, I, I don't know what to say, dude. I really appreciate that. Um, appreciate it, Snodzilla. Um, appreciate folks trading in the breaks and hooking me up with the Cowboys, and uh, yeah, I appreciate Car Family. Uh, Y'all keep it real. I'm out.